Yesterday, uh, DJI released their firmware update for the Action 4, and um, I'm a little annoyed by it because I have been hoping for an update for the audio bug that I've been experiencing with my Action 4, and, uh, and yeah, that didn't come. And so today I thought I'd make a video about why I started recording externally with my DJI Action 4. And even though I have touted the camera as having excellent audio capabilities with regards to being able to accept USB-C microphones and USB-C inputs, um, I think DJI has just a little bit, a little, a little more to go to make that perfect. And I, for one, while I'm excited about the Pocket 3 upcoming release, I hope that they're able to carry out that USB-C functionality over to that camera, but I'm not exactly sure. So I guess we'll have to find out together next week. So when it comes to recording externally on my Action 4, I have been using uh, my Instamic Pro Plus. And I know some of you have been asking for a review about the unit, but to be honest with you, it's one of those things that there's not that much to say. It's a great little portable 32-bit floating point recorder with built-in microphones. You can get it in mono or stereo models. I have the mono model. And uh, it's a one-button operation. You press the button to record. You press the button to stop recording. There are some other functionality that you can enable within the Instamic app, like uh, setting the Instamic into hands-free Bluetooth mode, which you can then pair with devices that accept hands-free um, protocols. So for example, you could use the Instamic Pro Plus in hands-free mode with your GoPro 12 if uh, you wanted to, but because when you do that, it then lowers the quality of the audio to only transmit, I think in like, 16 kilohertz instead of 48 kilohertz, which is what you normally would record in when you shoot video. And so the audio quality is noticeably different. It's kind of like you're using um, Apple earbuds to make a telephone call. You can also connect your Instamic to your smartphone and use it as a wireless microphone for your camera app. But because I don't shoot video on my smartphone, um, I tend to keep my Instamic in solo recording mode, just as a recorder, and um, and yeah, do some 32-bit floating point recording. And I thought, what better way to, to test that than today, where uh, I'm gonna try to do some yard work with, uh, with this guy, And we'll see if the Instamic Pro Plus can handle hearing a leaf blower. Now, admittedly, my leaf blower is not a super loud gas-powered leaf blower. It's, it's an electric leaf blower, but um, it's still got some power to it. So let's see, uh, I'll start back here. Uh, Man, I got so many, I got so many leaves. It's kind of ridiculous. All right, we'll just start right here. Let's see. Okay, so here we go. This is me leaf blowing with my leaf blower recording audio on my Instamic. Now, it shouldn't be that much of a big of a deal. I probably should be wearing ear protection. So do as I say and not as I do with this. But the truth is, uh, this leaf blower is not tremendously, tremendously loud. And it should only take me, I don't know, less than 10 minutes to do this. But yeah, when we talk about the benefits of 32-bit floating point recording, it's really under these kind of situations where you have some kind of 
super loud sound that you are trying to record and you don't want to clip your recording. And so for me, this is like that ideal situation where I am just kind of running this leaf blower while trying to vlog. And yeah, we'll see if you can hear me, okay, when I go back and edit this video. But the reality is, is that I, uh, I am fully excited about DJI and their ability to be brave enough to unlock their USB-C functionality on their cameras. But I'll be honest with you, I am a little worried about the Pocket 3. Uh, am I going to get a Pocket 3? That's yet to be determined. I don't really know. I would like to try one, but I have no experience with, uh, with any of the pocket cameras. That's not really something that I was into back then. And so the Pocket 3 would be my first experience with one of DJI's gimbal cameras. Honestly, if it does have USB-C microphone capabilities, then uh, I would be really, really interested in potentially picking one up. Let's see how we did. Man, that was a little loud. So yeah, we did like all of, all of that area. And it's kind of what it sounds like when you're using a leaf blower and trying to vlog at the same time. So. <laughs> Uh, my thoughts on the Instamic Pro Plus, probably one of the best purchases that I've made this year. Instamic uh, isn't sponsoring this video, I, I paid for it with my own money, and I definitely would buy a second one, maybe a stereo one, if I have the opportunity. Sometimes it runs hard, it's hard, they're hard to get on their website because they have limited stock availability, but um, it's a super easy plug and play device super easy functionality and it sounds really good so if you have any questions about the instant mic drop them down in the comments below thanks for watching and we'll talk again real soon